these are the things you will need to achieve your cinnamon toast crunch guys now once you've softened your clay you're gonna want to roll him out I did this as lifelike as possible you could literally use a cinnamon toast cinnamon toast crunch guy for a reference just cut out a cute little rectangle Now we will start bringing him to life by giving him his texture. We want to give him that real cinnamon toast crunch look and by doing this I just stippled on this tool which is just the end of a baby bottle brush but it gives it a nice little texture. You can do the same thing with an old toothbrush or a toothpick. You want to do this on all of his sides. And then we want to add his pretty little cinnamon swirl and we do this by just taking a dry paintbrush and rubbing it on the end of a chalk pastel. This is a brown chalk pastel and you're going to want to make it just look like a swirly design like they do when they bake them. Once you're happy with this cute little cinnamon swirl, you are going to give him his face. There's obviously many faces you could do. I did a bunch of these. This little guy I'm showing you is just a little shocked guy. <laughs> and I used the end of my paintbrush to give him his eyeballs and I did the same for his shocked little mouth. He will be getting eaten, so this is the cause for the face. And to give him his little chomped out uh, appearance, I just use the end of a straw. And then I baked him as the instructions say on my clay. Now for the eyes, you could use just white clay little balls, but I really like the look of puffy paint. It gives it a kind of gloss to it. So I just filled in his little eyeballs with that. And then to make his mouth stand out, I used some black acrylic paint. Once your puffy paint has dried, you can give him cute little pupils. I also coated him with a little bit of Elmer's glue and sprinkled on some glitter. This makes him look like he's got sugar on him. Once I was happy with it, I sealed them off with some acrylic spray. This is how they came out. They are super cute. Uh, I have them just like on the cereal box. I just googled Cinnamon Toast Crunch characters and just used that as my reference. And I did this to make a cute Japanese style deco den phone case and if you want to see how I did this phone case just click the link below. Thanks for watching and till next time.